Hello, my name is Wally. I am the guy from YouTube that you might know for the Wallace and Gromit film. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's terrible. No, don't use that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in. Damn it, no. <laughs> I'm going to the mood for some cheese. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just crackers about cheese. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name's Aaron the Wolf, and uh, I have a very interesting video for y'all today. Uh, for Valentine's Day, I thought I join. I thought we'd talk about our our fictional crushes that we've had in the past. And with me today, I have uh, Mr. Wally. Hello there, I'm Wally. You may know me better as Wally. Wait. <laughs> that's, even, that's even worse than the first time I introduced myself. <laughs> So, oh, this is going to be a very interesting video to edit. Oh, f <laughs> I'm just okay. gonna, I'm just gonna look back on this video and I'm just gonna cringe all the way through until I'm like a crippled piece on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about our fictional crushes. Now, just to preface this right out the gate, Wally here is spoken for. Yes, I am. I had to remember that for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, you're engaged? What? <laughs> I literally had a moment where my brain went, what is he talking about? Spoken? Oh, he means I'm taken. Oh, blonde hair kicking in. Wally, you're an <laughs> idiot. Say something. <laughs> <sighs> well, as for me, I'm a sad single boy, so. Oh, uh, okay. So, the first question that I have here is, what was the first character you remember crushing on? It could be from a game, a movie, show, anything at all. Oof. Now we're talking about young, young adolescence Wally here. Hmm. I'd say, um, the first fictional character I ever kind of crushed on, or like I certainly felt something for, was, uh... Um, the Yellow Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series, Trini. Hmm, alright. Yeah, out of everyone else I know who I grew up with, everyone loved the Pink Ranger, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah like that. that's the one that everyone had a heart on for back in the day. Yeah, everyone, everyone loved Kimberly. Then along comes me going, I like Asians. Which, <laughs> is the best description I could give you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair, I, I, I could definitely see the appeal. Hmm. I just nah. like the tomboy aesthetic of her and how like she was that kind of person that just basically was just different. It's the best way I can put it. Oh, you're into tomboys, huh? I do love my tomboy aesthetic, yes. I do love the I do love the tsundere's for the anime boys in the comments, but um I'm not like that's not just my personal preference. I just I just like the tomboys. <laughs> that's fair. Okay, so as for me, uh, like, you know, for like eight, up to like age 10, I want to say, I was I actually really wasn't all that interested in love, you know, because mm. it was just, it was just all about the games, you know? Yeah. But the, like the first time that I like re vaguely remember like having like genuine feelings for a character that I was seeing on screen was uh, Zelda from Skyward Sword. Oh, no, that's a good one. Yeah, like, like, cause like, here's the thing, Zelda in most of the other games, with the exception of like, Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker, has really just like, been the objective, and nothing else. <laughs> she mm. basically had no personality outside of that, but Skyward Sword, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Skyward Sword was, uh, the first Zelda game, at least I can remember, or at least I played, rather, where, like, she actually felt like a real character, you know? Hmm. It, you, she certainly much more had a def definitive personality compared to the other Zeldas in the timelines. She yeah. was upfront, she was boisterous, she was playful, flirt a little bit flirty here and there. Yeah. But bubbly. Just... <laughs> yeah, but very bubbly, yes. Very bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> You'll start to notice a pattern. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean she she was a genuinely 
like a really sweet character and like it, it made it so that like it wasn't just about oh i i'm the hero of time i have to save the day it's like i gotta save my girl you know the girl that kind of like that goes up to like the the cashier and say excuse me he asked for no pickles <laughs> i know that i know that feeling too well <laughs> uh, uh yeah and like pretty much and like every version of Zelda afterwards has just kind of failed to hold my interest. Like, like I'll be I'll be real. I I'm not really a fan of like Breath of the Wild Zelda. Really, you're not you're not a fan of uh, you're not a fan of the Bubble Butt. I mean Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, fair enough. She has that going for her. <laughs> but like. I don't know. I guess I guess she's I don't know, just a little too bitchy for my tastes. Mm, I I can see where you're coming from, but you've got to remember one of the reasons why she's a bit like that is because she's got this enormous pressure on on her due to her father, the the pressure of you know the ancestry and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But that doesn't excuse her for like hating Link. I want to say like really hating him in a lot of cases and really kind of going i'm the princess you do as i command sort of thing yeah i don't know maybe it's just like the fact i just don't like her british accent all that much and look i Ugh. love british accents but like she's like the one exception i'm like no this isn't working for me if i'm honest i'm surprised she had a british that british i can't speak english myself now um <laughs> uh, a british accent because when it kept when i played the game and heard her voice i was like oh I get the aesthetic of royalty to have an English accent, but you didn't really need the British accent to be royalty. You could yeah, have had and, any and also, and also, literally, no other voice actor in the game has a British accent, so her voice just sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, not even the king has a British accent. He's just that kind of kingly voice. Yeah, I never understood why. I know that like Breath of the Wild Zelda has its fans, but I'm not really one of them. Hmm, that's fair. All right, we got a next question. Uh, which crush made you figure out your type? Oh, <laughs> April O'Neil, the original cartoon, nineteen eighty. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. yellow jumpsuit. Yeah, I mean, I I was born in two thousand one, so I was no, I wasn't even an idea when the original <laughs> Digital Turtles came around. But like, yeah, I, I wasn't totally planned. Understand. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I definitely see the appeal. Yeah. Um, as for me, being the old man in this entire group, this entire call, um, I was born in '92. Just for everyone to guess my age now. And yes, the original April was like in the '80s. But um, in England, they used to rebroadcast a lot of like cartoons that were really hit and popular. Mm -hmm. like ridiculously amount of like rewatching stuff and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um 80s I, I can't remember the specific date it was broadcast but it's considered like the 80s turtles was just played constantly and I watched it a lot not just because you know the four turtles are awesome James Avery is Shredder and everything else under the sun but April woof <laughs> that was just something <laughs> yeah uh yeah, I actually, I did grow up in the Ninja Turtles a little bit, but it was the 2012 show, actually. I still need to watch that. I've heard so much appeal for it. Yeah, it's basically like, they put so many, like, anime aesthetics into it that it's like, you could argue that it's an American show trying to be an anime, sort of. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I only watched, that. like, maybe the first 10 episodes back when we still had cable, which we mm. don't anymore. And for good reason. Yeah. Oh, uh, just more, because I, I, I've got a funny feeling you might have a few comments because I've mentioned April from the 80s. Um, the next April with the red hair, the two early 2000s one. <laughs> She's great, but not my type. Oh, I, I never watched the 2000s show. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. I watched it and it was great, but April and that was not really my type. The next April along for 2012, I haven't watched it, but... Since her age, I'm not going to say anything, nor am I going to comment on that. And uh, um, the newest one, the um, the revamp for the like actual anime series. Mm -hmm. She's quirky, she's fun, but mm, I didn't watch it that much. 
Uh, quick side change. Uh, is it true that, like, in Europe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was renamed Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles? Yes, because ninja is apparently a word we cannot use in the English language because it literally gives us the use of nunchucks and everything. Poor Michelangelo. <laughs> Like, you said the word ninja! Oh my god, I'm gonna report you to the authorities! Could you imagine the British public when Naruto was released? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, it probably was like one of the most blasphemous things you could play in Europe. You, you could just imagine the Queen sitting on her throne just going, Oh, this cannot do at all, but your majesty has been broadcast for two months now. Oh, it's over. It's all over. <laughs> <laughs> the reckoning has begun! <laughs> yes, it was changed. Britain has a weird thing with, like... I don't want to say, like, over-the-top censoring with some words and, like, other things. But when they do, they do it in such a weird thing, in a weird way, where it's like... Sometimes they hit the nail on the ball, where it's like, oh, that makes sense, culture difference. And then others, you're like, hang on, what? They're hmm. clearly ninjas in the show because they mention it, but why is it called Hero? What? It's like, it has like the same energy as like Sly Cooper getting renamed in Europe to Sly Raccoon. Yeah, that was a weird choice. It's like, why? What was the point? Apparently the word Cooper is a slang in Europe. No, I'm pretty sure that's just a myth. Well, we'll that Catacris is just made up with. Well, apparently, yeah, because we've got the mini Cooper. Should we stop using Coopers? <laughs> uh, well, okay, I haven't said mine. Um, you know, it's difficult for me to figure out when exactly I figured out what my type was. But in terms of, like, like shows... Um, okay, have you seen the anime fairy tale before? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, quick, quick, what are your thoughts? Fairy tale's an awesome anime. I've got nothing against it. Hmm. It's an... Okay. It, oh, I'm going into reviewer mode now. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, truth be told, I really... I think, like, the, the anime itself is just kind of alright. It is cliche as hell, but it doesn't inherently make it bad. It's just something you have to keep in mind. Hmm. But, like, the... So, and yes, Fairy Tale has a lot of ladies <laughs> in a that lot, show. A lot of fans so, of us. Oh. Yeah, which is kind of like what a lot of people have problems with. But okay, mm. can, can you care to take a guess uh, which lady was my favorite? Was it the red hair girl? Uh, El Elza? I can't Urza? remember. I can't. Elza, yeah. Uh, I mean, she's cool, but like, she seems a little unapproachable when it comes to dating because of how, <laughs> like, Oh god, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, forward? I mean, I guess you could say that, forward, yeah. But actually, the the girl that I had really had a thing for was uh, Lucy. Oh! Oh, wow, that's very familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hold that one in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. She is like very ba a very basic waifu, you know. Mm. But like, I mean, come on, like she's adorable, man. Yeah, no, I can see why. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like blaspheming you, going like, God damn it, you just wanted vanilla ice cream instead of strawberry or something. The funny thing is, I do unironically like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Okay, we've got this video done, and that's it. I'm known as Wally. Goodbye. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no. I can see why you like Lucy because when she gets going in the later arcs, oof, she becomes a powerhouse. Yeah, but, like she's strong, um, but she's mm. she's really wholesome and she's thick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When you said Lucy, I was like, for some reason I thought you were gonna say Wendy. I don't know why, but it just seemed like appropriate. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Wendy is more of a childlike character, you know. Uh, is it? Is it just because of the height? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. I'm just saying that, like, uh, I don't know. I just kind of see her as an older, as a younger sister, you know. Oh, that's fair. No. It's kind of how like how I feel about Futaba from Persona Five. I love Futaba, but I would never want to date her. Hmm, no, I can see why. It's kind of my opinion of uh, Sakura from Naruto, if I'm honest. Ah, okay. Okay, so, uh... Alright, next, question three of five. This one's a good one. Which crush do you feel the most embarrassed by? 
Uh, oh no. I put you in hot water this time. Uh, why? I'm just an innocent boy from England. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, I can't say I'm embarrassed, but I know for a fact that a lot of people, whenever I mention this, people turn their heads and go, wait, really? Is, um, uh, Lola Bunny. <laughs> there it uh, is. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I'm furry trash too. <laughs> that's the thing. I'm not a furry. I just it was just one of those things in the '90s. <laughs> well, saw... I mean, to be fair, I feel like every kid in the '90s had a crush on Lola Bunny. Oh yeah, it's the same with like um, Roxanne from uh, from Roxanne? Goofy Movie. Yeah, and a couple of others, including. Um, for some reason I've heard a lot of people say Nala, and- Oh, that, I knew that, you were gonna bring up Nala. Yeah, that was a weird thing to dive into. Yeah, it's like, okay, look, you can make the argument that, like, okay, it's like Lola and Roxanne are, you know, anthro characters, you know? But mm. Nala's just a fucking lion. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna delete this search history for 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, Lola Bunny was the one that kind of made me think, oh god, yeah, I did have a thing for Lola Bunny. But, hmm. to be fair, I was a kid, and she was highly sexualized. Could you blame me for that? Yeah, this is why I I'm honestly not really that big of a fan of Lola Bunny. It's just because it's like, yeah, she's hot, but she has no personality outside of that. Apart from the fact that she likes to be, doesn't like to be called doll, that's like, oh, alright, then that's, um... Yeah, it's like, it, she, Lola wouldn't even have, like, any sort of personality until, like, the Looney Tunes show. Yeah. Which is why I was never attracted, because, like, I mean, yeah, she, you know, th this is why, like, personality means so much to me, because, like, I mean, yeah, that woman's hot, but if she has the personality of a wooden block, then, well, no thanks. Hmm, exactly. It's the same with any kind of, like, relationship. You've got to have, like, this chemistry that sort of attracts you, not just in the, the way people look, but also your personality. A personality just works so well in the long run. Uh, okay. Alright, it's my turn. Uh, okay, so go. you know that I am I love anthro characters way more than I would like to admit. I've seen your search history, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, I feel embarrassed every time I have to admit this, but you've played Undertale, right? Aaron. Are we going down the road? I think we're going down. <laughs> well, it depends on which character you're thinking of. <laughs> oh, oh, just tell me. I need to know. Okay, so the like, because there are some very fine ladies in that game, mm -hmm. but the one that I had like feelings for, oh my god, was Toriel. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I feel embarrassed to say it, but it, it's true. Oh. Uh... If, uh, if we were next to each other, I'd just pat you on the back going, mate, we've been there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I don't know, she's just she's just so sweet and caring. It's like, I I like the supportive type, alright? Leave me alone. Yeah, it's fine. Again, Jesus Christ, you're talking to the guy that people seem to have a problem with me liking Trini from Power Rangers instead of Kimberly. That, <laughs> it's like, why? Uh, well, <laughs> well, there we go, and now I'm just as embarrassed as you are, so we're even. I mean, it's not much as embarrassing as, a, like, a current embarrassing crush that I have, and it's annoying as hell that it's still in my head. Oh. Uh, <laughs> which one is that? Amelita Montoya Fox. Oh! Oh, okay! Oh, yeah, okay, she's not my type personally, but I definitely see the appeal. Yeah. And that's because I just, I think the reason I attract, I get attracted to her is because of her personality and her accent more than anything else. Which one? She has like four different accents. Uh, the, the third one. The actual, like, bringing in the Latino. I mean, I, I liked, like, her voice in four the most, but that's because she has the same voice as Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Oh, don't get me started on the Daphne fandom, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spoiler alert, Daphne's the worst Scooby-Doo character. Oh, <laughs> and there goes your comment section. There it goes. I can see it in real time. <laughs> uh, all right. The fourth question. Uh, who's been your most recent fictional crush? 
Ooh, that's a difficult one because I actually haven't had that most recent. Like, I've seen like too many shows and played too many games that I don't really have a recent crush. Oh. Or like, like like the last one that you can remember. Ooh. Um. Oh yes. No, I've got one. Um. Komi from Komi can't communicate. What? Oh, Komi can't communicate. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've heard good things about that show. I just never watched it. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Wa I haven't watched the anime adaptation, but I read the manga before it became a hit. I don't know about it. I just like. I just like the characters it came in, and Kaomi was uh, an interesting take. Yeah. You know, there's something endearing about that character. You know. Yeah, it's just one of those things that you kind of just want to watch because uh, one thing you will know about me is I love manga romance. Like I love romantic mangas. I'm obsessed with them. I'm terrible with them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But, um, uh, yeah, that one's, uh, that's my most recent crush. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, when it comes to most recent, there's two that come to mind. The first one uh, comes from Persona 5. Now, you might, ar you are probably already know who my, my girl, my best girl is, right? I believe you've mentioned her, but I, I've slept since then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's Aunt Kamaki. Ah. Yeah, you're starting to notice a pattern here, aren't you? I believe I am, young one. <laughs> Alright, I have one last question. Oh. And it's basically the end-all be-all question. Who is your favorite waifu? Oh, of all time? This may take some time. Please enjoy the advertisements in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make a quick ad break. <laughs> this this video is sponsored by Rare Game. Wait, what? <laughs> this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend, Raycon oh. Earbod, Shirksar VPN, <laughs> Nord VPN, AFK Arena, yeah. Genshin Impact, yada yada yada. I don't know why, but it's mainly because she awoken something in me for the longest time. It's gotta be Fujiko Mine from Loop on the Third. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know why it. Like, because I've named a lot of characters that you would think, oh, that will definitely be his type. Like, 100% the number one. But Fujiko Mine has always stuck to me for the longest time. And that's only because she literally awoken the teenager blood in me. Like, the hello kind of blood in me. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> and for the longest time, it just stuck with me. And she's still stuck with me now. And it's sad to admit, I've got a poster of her somewhere. <laughs> I mean, there's no shame in admitting that. Oh, I know, I know. But you know, like when you look back at it and you think that was a teenage impulse. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's fair. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, favorite is hard for me because I like a, a lot of these girls for like very different reasons. You know. Mm, yeah. But if there's one that like, like just from the second that I laid eyes on her, I knew for a fact that I was in love with her. Oh, so this is not from any popular series, by the way. Uh, so there's, so my favorite artist of all time is uh, Kalina. I think that's how you say her name. His name is Kalina. Oh, Kal yes, I know who you might. I I know that name. It sounds familiar. I'm just trying to remember the works. Yeah. Uh, he has this uh web comic called Dust to Dust about like two homicide detectives. You know. So uh, <laughs> my favorite wife would probably has to be because of like. Like, the moment I laid eyes on this character, I was like, oh my god, I'm in love, is, uh, Abby. Oh, <laughs> it's like Abby, Abby the Rabbit. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I'm, so, I'm sensing the, uh, the theme here. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell. No, 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 tell us more. I can't really know. <laughs> this is all new news. <laughs> Just, oh, oh, oh my god, I love Abby so much. Like, the, the orange hair, like, like the redhead hair. Like the freckles, like the the shorter body type, I guess. <laughs> How she's like really wholesome and and everything. Hmm. No, I can see the appeal. Hundred percent can see the appeal. And also being able, being like extremely proficient with like guns, definitely has its has its own charm to it. Yeah, definitely. Hundred percent can see why. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. Mm is a lucky man. Because the thing is, I would die for Abby. Like, no questions asked. You, you just go up to just to the main character and go, Stand aside, mortal. It is my call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, 
it's it's probably not an exaggeration to say that Abby literally shaped my taste in girls. Oh, okay. I was just going to say that, um, with you saying that, um, even though I say Fujiko Mine is the girl that kind of shaped my kind of like aspect of awakening, like attracted the females, I wouldn't say she awoken what I want in life, if that makes any sense. Because hmm. my partner is far away from anything Fujiko Mine is. <laughs> like, ridiculously far. But she's a beautiful woman, and I love her. Good. You take care of her, man. Seriously. I'm trying to. She's taking care of me. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the baby in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's that's all the questions that I had. Oh, okay. Mm. So, uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. Uh, go check out Wally. He makes great stuff. And check out Aaron, because... Um, oh, wait, you're already on his channel. Never mind. Check him out anyway. <laughs> Because he's an awesome <laughs> dude. <laughs> yes, I made a punch out video. I'm really proud of it. Yeah, you did more so. than that. You did more than just the punch out video. You made some fantastic videos, including um, I'm not, I'm not advertising myself a bit more, but something involving a green swamp monster with green stuff, and his friend is a donkey. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, God, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all have. I'm speaking to the audience here, just to be clear. Uh, I hope you all uh, stay yeah, safe not, out I there. I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I hope you all stay safe out there and have a happy Valentine's Day. Stay strong uh, and live Happy life. Valentine's, guys.